Alright, so, hey guys, uh, John Lithgow, he, he is a wonderful actor, I liked him in Shrek, he was really good in uh, Rise of the Planet of the Apes, he's done some very no noteworthy mo films in his career, but lately he's one of those actors that just need to shut the fuck up, like honestly, we don't care about your politics. Leave your fucking politics out of, like, what you do. Like, he just wrote a fucking children's book on how stupid Trump is. Like, really? First of all, you're misinforming everyone that reads that book because Trump isn't a fucking moron like you are. Um, uh, well, I'm not saying you're a moron, but you're misinformed, at least. Um... Uh, but, like, come on, man. Like, this whole bashing Trump thing is just getting really fucking old. It was old when Robert De Niro did it. It was old when Eminem did it. I fucking hate Eminem. I used to fucking love Eminem when I was a kid. He was my favorite rapper, my favorite singer. Well, people will get pissed if I say singer. But, like, yeah, he was my favorite rapper of all time. And then he said, fuck you to Trump supporters because uh, we support Trump. And we can't support Trump and like Eminem at the same time. So he just like stuck his middle finger. was like, fuck you guys for supporting Trump if you're my fan. So yeah, fuck you back Eminem. I fucking hate you. Um, so yeah, Eminem, he fucked up. Howard Stern, he fucked up. Um, Joy, Joy Behart. Um, Kathy Griffin is a big one. Kathy Griffin, like what she did is fucking despicable. Um, like, how is she not in jail? Like, if someone were to do... If Vince Vaughn were to do that to fucking um, Ob Barack Obama, the same fucking thing that uh, Kathy Griffin did to Trump, if, if, if he were to do that to Barack Obama, like, it would be all over the news. Vince Vaughn would be in jail. He'd probably be, like... I don't know, in the elect, not the lecture, but he'd probably be in there for, for life or whatever. Because uh, you, you can't say anything bad about the Obama administration. But, like, Trump administration, go right ahead. You can say whatever the fuck you want. You could, you could scream death to Trump and, like, you'll get away with it. But, like, let's get back to John Lithgow. John Lithgow, like I said, he, he wrote a children's book called Trumpy Dumpty or whatever the fucking stupid book it's called. It's a disgraceful book uh, about our president being a moron and, like, um, he doesn't know how to run a country and all that. And, like, okay, John Lithgow, how about you become the president of the United States? How about you go through um, what it's like to be a president and all that and go through all the trials, tribulations, the hell that comes with the presidency? No? You just rather write books about how bad our president is? Okay. Um... How about we stop seeing your fucking movies? Like, honestly, we we do not care. You fucking entertain us. You're pretty much uh, like court jesters in a way. I'm sick and tired of the disrespect uh, from these celebrities. These, This is our president. Like, he's doing his best. He may not be, he may not have handled certain things in the best best of ways but like he's doing a hell of a good job in, in like most aspects of his presidency the coronavirus could have been handled better everything else unemployment has been great and all that has been very low especially in the black community but like well, until now uh, everybody's out of jobs um but like he tried clo uh, closing um the uh, What's the, what was I saying? He tried um, a travel ban on China. And the media called him fucking racist for it. Like, why? Don't, do, you, do you want to get fucking sick? Well, here we are now. We're like we're on lockdown. Because you guys called the president fucking racist for closing China. Um, But like, so yeah, it's like one of those damned if you do, damned if you, damned if you don't. He's damned if he doesn't have a travel ban on China, and, and we're damned if he does have a travel ban. On, no, we're he we're damned if he has a travel ban. On, if he doesn't travel ban China, and we're 
and he's damned if he does put a travel ban on China because he's gonna be, media is gonna be all over him calling him xenophobic and racist and all that. Like it's honestly getting fucking ridiculous how the media treats uh, the president. They weren't like this with Barack Obama. Like as soon as Donald Trump became president, like the media nonstop just like purposely misconstrues everything he says. Like he could say that like the sky is blue, and, and the media will be like. Uh, no, you're wrong. How racist are you to say that the sky has to be a certain color? Like, that's the kind of shit the media likes to pull. Like, he could find the cure for cancer, and the media would be like, why would you take that away from a, uh, uh, a black person? A black person should have fucking discovered cancer. How dare you? Like, fuck off. Honestly. John Lithgow, you need to fuck off. Every other celebrity that likes to bash Trump, you need to fuck off. This everybody needs to fuck off. Like, show some respect. This is our president. Um, like, it's just getting really fucking ridiculous.